All right, so I am here to take a look at the hypergravity compressor that can be found as part of the Tone Print family by TC Electronics, and uh, it's its own standalone unit or as part of the Plethora X5 or X3. So uh, the advantage to doing it here is I can populate each of the five slots that I have available in the X5 to the compressor effect, kind of uh, test them all out and see what we have. Uh, for the guitar that I'm using, I'm using a Telecaster going straight into the plethora. These first two slots are pre-simplifier, then the signals ret uh, going over there, returning uh, for these last three spots, and then returning in stereo for you there. So uh, I'm using the Telecaster over the EMG guitar because uh, EMGs are already a pretty compressed uh, sounding pedal or pickup, excuse me. So I think that uh, you won't get as much difference in the sound as uh, say I'm using this uh, kind of low output by comparison uh, Telecaster. So the first spot that I've got there is the hypergravity default. This is my regular sound with. So it is making a difference there. Not a huge difference, but it does make it uh, sound a lot better uh, to my ears anyway. Let's check out the next slot, which is the Vintage. Okay. Again, that's nothing. That's weird. Cool. And I've got each of the knobs here assigned to uh, one of the different parameters. So the first hot knob is Sustain, then Attack, and then Level right there. So maybe I'll just mess around with these. Of course I can stack them and it's probably just going to add more background noise than anything. So probably just do one at a time. Uh, let's see. Sustain is going to add a bit of noise that you can hear there. And of course volume might boost a little bit, but interestingly if you cut the sustain but leave the level high, it doesn't uh, get near as noisy. Still very present. You don't get near as much background noise as if you start cranking the sustainer. Still pretty clean though, you know, even playing kind of hard. It's not really breaking up that much. Does the attack change that? Oh, that was the level, sorry. Let's keep that one up and let's bring the attack down. Interesting, okay. So let's go ahead over to the vintage now. One thing, all the settings that I change on one are gonna apply to the others, since I've got each hot knob assigned to each of the pedals there. All right, sustain adds background noise. Level, bringing us up there. Just hanging on. If I switch this off, see that? So it's just dying out versus just hanging on. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me look at something in the edit real quick. So for the sustain threshold right here. Hmm. Probably more about the uh, level. So you can see the level has got like level high, mid, and low. Right now... Oh, on this one. There we go. So... Notice that all level drop down. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So with that level, you can see it's like 100 decibels drop. As I bring it up, though, so right about 50% would be like even. And then raising it, you can get 10 decibels more. Right there. And then right here, 0.5 or 5 milliseconds up to. 10 milliseconds, low would be 0.3 milliseconds on the attack. Let's just keep it right there. Uh, let's see, OK. 
Okay, so that, that was kind of interesting. Oh, one other thing. So... Notice that some of these other tone prints that I've downloaded on here have extra features, like this one right here, the Squasher, has attack all and release all features, and then the last one here, the Squeeze Frame, has both of those, and it has the level high, mid, and low. So that's kind of uh, something cool to uh, check out. I have a ton of different tone prints all downloaded on here. I obviously don't use them all, but uh, it's kind of nice to, uh, to try these out. I was doing that a lot before I had the idea of making these test boards. Uh, so let's get back out of here. So again, all of these are just basically uh, before the simplifier. So this one, the EMG pickup comp. I think the idea of this one is not that you use it with EMG pickups, but that you would use it for something like what I've got now, a Telecaster Strat, something else to uh, to give it the feel of having the EMG active pickups. I think that's what's going on here. Uh, next we have the Squasher. Uh, it does make a difference there. And by squashing it, what I'm thinking it means is rather than have a like a really dynamic sound wave, it's going to be just a lot more uh, compressed would be the word, but uh, you know less variation between the low lows and the high highs of the volume you can make. There. Obviously, sustain adds some noise. The level gives us about 10 decibels more volume, and the attack is giving us about. 10 milliseconds difference. And just the response time. And this very last one is probably the most subtle squeeze frame. All right. Sustainer. Yeah, that adds more noise. Okay. And this is the one that had the three band level, so. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the Tone Print app, you can actually get in there and edit a lot more uh, parameters than just what's provided on here. These are just kind of the, the big main ones that you can mess with. So again, I don't want to probably stack them. You get stuff like that, and that's not fun. Uh, probably just one at a time for each of these. Uh, it, you can see I have the mesh feature. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just getting over being sick. That's why I made some videos in a few days here. Uh, the mesh feature is enabled on each of these, but there is nothing that you can assign to it there. So maybe in a future update, uh, this wouldn't be something you'd need, but it might be kind of cool to, uh, say, assign something like a level boost to a smash where you could actually like smash on it and uh, you know give yourself a volume boost or maybe like some more sustain you know like just not have the sustain on all the time but like for holding out a certain note just like kind of mashing down on it just a cool thing that, that I think I'd like to see in there you know the feature is there I, I'm not sure why they give it but uh, don't give you anything to actually do with it there um, I could obviously spend a lot of time going through these different compressors and really tweaking things, and it's not going to sound a ton different. But I hope that this gets you an idea of just playing without anything versus just using any of these. Some good uh, compression that you could use in here. Maybe not as powerful as some of the other ones out there on the market, but uh, you know, really cool feature. And you know, it's nice that I can control things by MIDI and stuff too. So another advantage to that. Uh, let me go ahead and wrap this one up, and uh, I will see you at the next one. Let's see what we're covering next. Ooh, delay. All right, sounds good. We will see you then.